Okay, I think we are recording there. I want to make a first introductory video to uh, what I believe is a really good setup on E-Trade Pro for beginning traders. Um, as you can see, right down here, let's just get right to it. Uh, right down here, you have your main screen. Uh, I have uh, my markets, sectors, scanners, and then these I don't really use because you can see right here that they're still labeled as screen 5 and screen 6. Now this is E-Trade Pro, and in E-Trade Pro you do need to have at least $1,000 in your E-Trade account so that you can uh, request E-Trade Pro, but E-Trade Pro is free if you have at least $1,000 in your account. If not, you need E-Trade Power, and I just think E-Trade Power sucks. So I use E-Trade Pro, and I love E-Trade Pro. Uh, if you need level two quotes, which are very important, especially if you're a day trader, if you're trading low float stocks, honestly, it is about like $9, I think, in total for all of them, for a quote montage, for all the quotes, for all the level two books. So I just really like E-Trade Pro. So let's just get started with the main screen, with this. Right here, uh, you can go to tools. I have a little cut out but right here on uh tools it's oh it's cut from the screen just to like hide my brokerage account but uh if you have the if you have this uh this application and this software you know exactly what i'm talking about and you know what the tools are they're right here in the uh, top left corner uh you can just go to watch list right here and a watch list and every time you add something it'll just appear randomly up here so I just made mine, as you can see. I'm just going to delete this one. I already have one here. I just have a watch list right here. I have uh, my biggest percent gainers. Uh, this right here is completely uh, customized. Uh, this uh, this video is actually just it's just going to be an overview of, of the setup that I have that I like. Uh, if anybody is actually interested in how to do this and how to change the font and how to change the colors from... Uh, from like I don't know what this is violet from violet and change uh, the font because you know this uh, this is like this is the font that it comes with this one right here I don't know if it's like Times New Roman or whatever but this right here I changed all of this and I changed the font I made it a little bigger uh, customized this for my biggest percent change my last transactions a news column to make sure I can see when it has news and the total volume and the performance over the last month uh, this I think is really helpful and the colors I just like the colors because I made them match with my charts as you can see on uh, any purple or violet candles are red candles what you'd see as a uh, down ticking and my level two I just left that I didn't want to make it violet or in green like, I just thought that would be a little too much I, I'm used to the red and the green but on the left side I have my watch list and right here, I'm splitting the screen. This is a laptop. So I think this is a perfect laptop uh, setting. This is a perfect laptop display, right? Where you have, why did I choose? Let's just choose RGBP because it was spiking. I have right here um, the minute. So the one minute today chart. So I can see uh, what it's doing today and the volume. And you can see this is only half of my screen. So and on the other half, I would have the daily for 150 day so I can notice any um, uptrending patterns if there's if this is the first green day I can see right here uh, if it's about to break out like and I can see that it's clearly right about to break out so just from seeing that I know that this the reason there was resistance up here was because that this is a multi week multi month if anything uh, resistance level. But whenever I click on any stock, that's that's my goal, that I can see the intraday so I can see if there's any volume. So if I see a ton of this on the daily, I'm just like, okay, it's super liquid, not not worth my time, like, like these, like not worth my time. But then if I see something right here on the intraday that looks like this, that it's just like it's voluminous, clearly here, nothing happened here, there was clearly some news. And then I can look right here on the... Um, on the yearly and I have that all in the same picture all in the same thing when I'm uh, doing my research and when I'm looking up a new stock so everything here you can see right here it says link one everything is linked across so the only thing the link really does 
is that um, anything you really choose, like everything kind of pretends that you put it into, into the little search box too. So if I go to like MWWC, everything changes because everything is linked to my watch list. Uh, that also includes my uh, level two. As you can see, it's also on a link one. So if I click like OSG, even my level two changes. Now, obviously you can change that. So like maybe you, you wanna type everything in. So if I were to put like link two and I put BSSP, everything's gonna change, but this one's gonna stay exactly the same. And I don't really like that. I like my whole screen to be organized. So right here I have uh, the one minute. This is the yearly. Right down here in this corner is where I keep my level two. In eTrade Pro, anything you click, it comes to the front of the screen. So if I click this, this comes to the front of the screen and this comes to the back of the screen. But here's the thing about if I were to make it smaller, right? If I were to make it like in here and I click this chart, this chart and the watch list and let's just say this order thing, like I can no longer access level two. You see, because it's been sent to the back of the screen, there's no way for me to get it back unless I move everything and move it. So I'm actually just gonna move, move this up a little just so I can see it. Whoops. Now I'm really gonna have to try to get it back. Okay. Okay, let's move this back down. And that's just how I have it set up. I always have this one right here. I don't have it. Yeah, I guess I had it somewhere over there. Oh, well, let's check. Yeah, so I always have it. As you can see, I always have one corner of everything sticking out so that I can click it. Um, so what you saw right there, this is level two. I have it right in the middle of this screen just so that I can see uh, what's going on in the intraday and I can keep an eye on the yearly. So like going back to RGBP, uh, going back to RGBP, you can see that if I was looking at this through the market close, I can see uh, that this is uptrending. I can see right here that it's um, approaching and I can see on this right side that it is approaching that multi-month resistance. So while I'm seeing my level two and while I'm seeing my watch list i'm seeing all the runners and seeing all the action on this side so i think this is like a great overview of everything that you need you need your minute your daily and obviously if you need to expand if you need to make it bigger you can always just maximize it look at it uh, look at the 10 day look at any trends look at anything and then you know once you're done looking at that you just restore it and you know you're back like you're back in action so I think this is a great, great layout. And then right here, the reason I have this one right here is just uh, for my order status. I really, really like to see if I've been executed, if my uh, orders were canceled correctly, and I just want that instantly. I don't wanna have to go to tools and um, order status right here. Like, I don't wanna have to do all that because when I'm in a trade, let's say I'm in a trade, let me put all these up back up front. Uh, when I'm in a trade, I usually order right off of here. So I order right off of here, submit, and then I immediately after I submit, I check right here. I'm watching the chart, I'm watching the level two, but I also wanna make sure that my account, my order got executed. If not, then I know. You know, if it's uh, jumping up and I haven't been executed yet, I'm just gonna click it and I'm gonna cancel. I'm gonna cancel my order because at that point, like it already ran without me and if it pulls back at this point, I'm not, I don't wanna get caught up in there unless my intention was to buy on a pullback. By the way, like uh, this, honestly, I only play with like $500 in terms of uh, positions. Like my positions are, they're $500. I have like a super small $2,500 account. I am just starting out and I'm just trying, but I think that this layout on eTrade Pro, it really helps. It helps you see a lot of the things that uh, maybe other more experienced traders already know or that they can already check and they can memorize once they see it the first time. I just think this one really helps. So this is my main screen again, main screen. Just get a good look for it. Gainers, uh, one minute, yearly, level two, 
and then orders right there and then right here on the second one these are actually really these are just quick i have uh, the markets again if anybody really likes to set out or they want to know how to uh customize it this way to make everything a little more you know nicer cleaner cuter or whatever just uh, let me know and i'd be happy to do the video i think it's really cool and i think uh, it looks really nice it makes it look a little less intimidating honestly when you uh when you look at it like this it looks a lot less intimidating but right here uh this tab is called markets because right here i have all the, this is basically uh, like the scanners so i have the most active stocks in terms of uh most active the biggest percent gainers where i'm looking at that you know this is usually what i'll add to my watch list again if they're liquid because the second i click this i'm not going to add that because that just looks disgusting even if it's 25 percent up e e and f you see like there's at least something going on and i can see right here the yearly so i have the same setup one minute today yearly but if you see right here i actually have it on link two because if I had it on link one, then it would change. Uh, it would change all my stuff back on my main screen. But this is my like second, like my uh, where I pick my stocks. So right here, everything is on link two. To go right here, there's no level two or anything because again, this is just for me to pick my stocks. So if I think it has a good enough yearly and it has a good enough um, intraday where it's liquid enough, like this is at least you know like there's some sort of form and pattern. Then I'll go back to my main and I'll add it on my watch list. But this is just to pick my stocks for um, bulletin board, which is mostly what I trade OTC stocks, penny stocks, uh, listed stocks, big percent gainers. And I actually have the other ones right here, uh, like uh, the New York, uh, the other one right here. But it just it doesn't fit because obviously like there's not enough room. So this is I never trade these. I don't trade listed stocks regardless. If anything, though, what I mostly look at is this. And then sectors, this I rarely use either, honestly. I think I just have it to have it, uh, where I'm just looking at uh, how much the sectors are up, like 13% change, so I know, like, conglomerates. Uh, this is just for me to see what sectors are hot. So, you know, like, what's good right now? You know, like, is it Tesla? Is it oil? Is it this? Is it, I don't know, consumer non-cyclical? Like, whatever it is, this is mostly what I look at just to, for that. But I, I almost never look at it. And then this, these are just empty screens right there. Cause I honestly think even if I, I could delete sectors and I wouldn't even realize, like I, don't, I just, it's not, it does nothing for me. I think these two super, super easy, honestly, super easy. You just go to tools and obviously add everything you want to add, make it fit in your screen. So you have a big screen it will work better for you. I have a laptop. I have a 15 inch laptop. So this is the best I can do to try to fit everything into my screen and you can't see it right now because this is unblocked to block my brokerage account but right above here I have all of the markets up here in my little tab right where like uh, where tools is where quotes are where the ticker is where trade is I have right here the markets because I always I have six markets the uh the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, the S&P 500, the Russell, the 10-year note index, et cetera, et cetera. Because I always want to see what the markets are doing. So if I'm trying to buy a stock, like let's say I'm trying to buy this dip, and I'm looking up here and like uh, the markets are crashing, I'm most likely going to be a little more hesitant or less aggressive because three out of four stocks follow the market. So if up here, the overall markets, right, not just one, but the overall markets they're tanking, they're all red, they're dropping, they're making new lows. Then I'm not, I'm probably not going to be as aggressive because clearly it just shows a lot of fear and panic in the market. So a lot of these traders are scared right now. So I'm not going to do that. But if everything's green, if everything's going up, if everything's making new highs, I'm probably just going to be a little more uh, willing to buy this dip and to expect a bounce. Uh, if everything was red, I'd probably just expect it to keep dropping because there's just so much fear. But yeah, that's what I have as a layout. And honestly, I think this is a really good layout, especially for uh, beginners, because I'm a beginner and this is, well, I've been trading for like a year, but this is really, really helpful. I saw it from some guy named um, Ellis Hobbs who had a similar setup 
It was it was different, but like he had the only thing he had, he had the daily. He had the daily and the yearly. That's what he had. And I really liked it. I really liked how it looked. So and everything else I added myself, including this market stuff and this. He only uses one screen, but he has like a really big screen, so he he can fit it all on one screen. But yeah, if you guys want to know how to change your font or how to customize this or specifically if you have any specific questions or anything just feel free to ask and i will gladly answer them all right so i hope this i hope you guys do this if you have eTrade pro or whatever software you have if you can get somewhat sort of this layout i promise you it'll be really easy and it will give you a lot more things to look at and it will probably get you well, it'll get you watching more things, which is obviously what you want. You always want to be in ahead of everything, and you want to be aware of any yearly breakouts. You want to be aware of any intraday breakouts of uh, the volume. You want to be aware of level two. You want to see what other stocks are doing. I just think this is a great layout. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, just let me know.